Welcome back to Lightcraft Academy. This episode is near and dear to my heart. I'm speaking to broadcasting teachers uh, across the country, uh, across the world, daily, weekly, monthly broadcasts in middle school, high schools, even elementary schools now is sort of a tradition in the American education system. And uh, I wanna talk a little bit about how you can use Jet Set to really up your broadcast game. Now there are hundreds, I imagine thousands of school broadcasts across the country. And typically they will do some green screen weather. It's very traditional green screen weather, students standing in front of a, a map uh, and uh, they're walking around or standing in front of that map. But as, as you know, you can't move the camera because that would uh, re remove the immersion <laughs> that you're in front of some a crazy studio. But with Jet Set, we know now that we can really up a school's broadcast game. I am creating this episode with a specific person in mind, the gentleman who took over my programs here in Carlsbad, California middle school, high school, he's diving into Jet Set. And I thought, why don't I put together an episode really designed for teachers who are taking their first steps into the exciting world of virtual production. The beauty is you're going to find out is, you know, a challenge to teacher is how do you keep all the kids engaged? Well, we have this thing called Canva. Canva really became popular during the pandemic. With Canva, and it's free to educators, to school districts, you could have a classroom of 30 students on their Chromebooks in Canva, designing in real time a virtual set for your broadcast. And the teacher can pull up those images in real time and share them on a smart board. So it's a very powerful means for getting the entire class involved and putting together a really cool broadcast in a virtual production format with really cool sets like the one that I'm using right now as sort of a sample. So let me switch over to a weather map. I'll show you what it looks like at the very end and we'll walk you through how you could take your students through the process, designing their own virtual sets, their own weather maps, their own, own cool sports news weather sets. I'll be right back. And here we are back in the VMS TV weather studio. Uh, welcome to VMS TV, we're about to do the weather. Now what I've done, uh, this is dynamic, so I have the camera moving around. I've taken a little green tape and I have marked Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, um, which means unlike regular green screen where the student's standing in front of the green wall uh, with a weather map superimposed behind them and the camera can't move because if it moved, uh, that would look really weird. The talent would move and the background would not move like this. When this happens, that's the difference between regular green screen and virtual production. Um, with the little tape markers, you can talk about, let's say Monday is 62 and 74, so I can point to Monday and say, we'll have, have a high of 74, a low of 62, and it's gonna be sunny. Um, they can either have that memorized, they could be looking at a confidence monitor behind the, the, uh, the iPhone, the camera. Um, cue cards memorizing is probably better, but this is just a way to introduce virtual production the new green screen to uh, young kids. Let's take a look at how you can develop um, this, how you can create this in Canva, and I'll be back for one more shot. Canva has become an incredible resource for teachers around the world, and it's particularly valuable in classes where students are learning some aspect of graphic design. In our example today, you could have an entire class of students working in their school Chromebooks, logged into their school Canva account, and in real time, designing a virtual set for their school broadcast. We'll start with a base image template of sorts that you can download from our Flickr account in 4K. We're going to build out a weather forecast studio and there's lots of room for customizing it and encouraging the students to be creative. In this example, we're going to populate our set with a traditional weather backdrop with temperature highs and lows and weather conditions for the week. The teacher could provide the students with the actual temperature data or at least point them to a website that has this information. I'm starting with the day of the week, and because our show airs on a Friday, my map will start with Friday's temps. I then move on to the actual weather by pulling icons from Canva, and my last step is to fill in the correct highs and lows. I'm also going to use Canva's photo library to source a weather image for the TV monitor. Beyond the weather forecast, this same base image can be built out as a sports studio, new studio with perhaps a story in e-bike safety, and if you really want to scale it up a notch, how about adding some motion video? I have some previous lessons that show how to create animated backdrops and lesson number 10 will get you up and running in minutes. 
If you want your students to interact with a map, remember that you can use green tape as markers so that it's easier to point to the correct place on your backdrop. Living in a beach community in Southern California, a surf report is kind of important uh, in a school broadcast. And what better way to do a surf report than to be in a studio like this where you have motion video, you have the illusion that your set overlooks the Pacific Ocean. This is a, a great way to really up your game and it's a fantastic way to introduce your students to really the future of filmmaking, virtual production, a crazy way to really take advantage of the green screen. Even if you don't have a studio, you don't really need one anymore. Uh, a reminder that we have uh, 300 and some odd backdrops that are free for any uh, Jet Set user. Just drop me an email at broadcastdoug at gmail.com and I'll send you the the password to download them in the, in the full 4K, 6K, and you can then pop that into your classroom, iPad, uh, iPhone, whatever you're using. Uh, they all work, work really well. So uh, reporting from uh, a middle school in Carlsbad, California, with the surf report, not a surfer, can't really pretend that I am. Uh, I'm Doug Green. As always, I always end with a plea, please subscribe. Uh, and continue to help this YouTube channel do as well as it's doing. Uh, we are so pleased that we offer Jet Set for free. Uh, there is a pro version uh, that, that gives you a few more um, capabilities, 4K and so on, but, but it's free and uh, we, we make this with educators and students in mind. Thanks for watching, I'll be back in a few days.